Blue Shady Gang Gang. It's your boy GVO Shades, man, and we back with another banger, bro. Check this out, man. <laughs> I seen this post the other day on Facebook, bro, right? And it reminded me of what I'm about to tell y'all. Now, if you paid attention to the thumbnail, and if you paid attention to the title, man, you already know what type of time we on. You already know what we about to get into. But before we get into it, I need y'all to go ahead and like it up, drop a comment, subscribe if y'all haven't already, man, because y'all already know we trying to hit that 1K by May. You feel me? Yes, sir! You still ain't even hit that like button, did you? Press the goddamn button! So look, bro. I was in the ninth grade at the time, right? Dating this girl that I won't mention. I'ma leave that out. But I was dating this girl that I won't mention. And from what I remember, this was my second serious or long-term relationship, whatever term you wanna put on it. But this, this is what makes that post ironic, right? So boom, she lived right across the street, same school, same bus, same everything. You know what I'm saying? If I'm hooping, she was there. If, if I was hanging with the guys, she was there. You know what I'm saying? She got comfortable with everybody that was around me real quick, just like that. You know what I'm saying? She got comfortable with everybody. And you gonna see why I say that by the end of the story. Keep that in, just keep that part in mind, all right? When I met her, I don't think she was a smoker, but hanging around us, she turned into one. And, let's, and let me just say this, bro. When she smoked, she was down for anything. So boom, time goes by and she ends up dating uh, this girl that was dating my boy Floyd. And I tell y'all what, bro, her hanging around Floyd's girl and smoking weed, bro, that started a lot of freaky shit back in the day. I'm just going, I'm gonna just say that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was the weed, or I don't know if it was his girl, or maybe it was both, I don't know. But after a while, the girl I was dating just stopped caring about any and everything. She just stopped giving a fuck about any and everything. And literally, y'all are gonna see why I say that. Shit, now that I think about it, she's the reason I started skipping school. Literally, she's the reason I started skipping school. We'd skip school, go to her crib and make bacon, egg, and cheeses. She the one to put me on to them Jones, bro. Them Jones used to touch my soul, man, with the grape jelly, toasted bread. Man, what? Bro, that's, man. We skipped school so much, man, we ended up getting caught by her dad, right? And dude, yo, dude did not like me at all, bro. I remember dude tried to fight me, chase me down the street with a baseball bat. Oh, you know no. what I'm saying? I remember my sisters getting involved somehow. I don't exactly remember everything that happened. You know what I'm saying? I just remember dude was super weird, dumb, cringy, and didn't like me or the people I hung out with. But anyways, one day me, Flo me, Floyd, his girl, and mine, we decided to skip again, right? We went to my ex's um, house or whatever to skip, and we making bacon, egg, and cheeses, bumping music all crazy. You know what I'm saying? This man Floyd over here finger popping under the covers. Oh, and then no. as soon as we smoke, all hell breaks loose, bruh. All hell breaks loose. Remember the parts where I was saying that my ex had got comfortable with everybody I was around with, and how when she was smoked that she stopped caring about any and everything? Well, this is the part where you see why I say that. <laughs> we finished smoking, right? I look over, this man Floyd over here tonguing the shit out of his girl, bruh. My girl gets excited and just starts going crazy. Go crazy, go stupid, ah, go crazy, yeah. We ain't gonna give y'all too much detail on that, bruh. Fast forward to the part where me and my ex, we look over at Floyd and his girl, right? They over there getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Like she over there screaming like somebody just ruptured her spleen. No oh, cap, no. I'm trying, bro, no cap. I look back at my ex, bro. She over here excited and start getting undressed and shit. Low key, I'm over here like, yes sir! It's about to go down. But I kept it gangster, you know what I'm saying? Straight face gang and all, you know what I'm saying? Cause you, as a man, you can't get too excited, bro. Cause one of two things can happen. She'll either get turned off depending on the cringe level of your excitement, or you as a man will finish early if you catch my drift. I mean, but hey, I could be wrong. Who cares? Anyways, it's my turn. I get in that thing. You know what I'm saying? I look back at Floyd, I dap him up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we dapped up mid-stroke. Oh, nigga. On my mama's great grandmama's child, when I turn my head back to acknowledge the work being put into this pleasantly plump little poom poom team, all you hear is, nigga, I about died. No cap. I felt disrespected, but I'm still swimming, hey, using yo. my shirt as a snorkel. I'm behind that drum like this, you know what I'm saying? I'm behind that drum oh, like this. Man. I look back at Floyd, this motherfucker laughing and shit because I got my, my shirt over my nose, and he already know why I got my shirt over my nose, you know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm just trying to finish, bro. I'm just trying to get up out of there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, why when I tell you the harder and faster I went, bro, the more potent and pungent that smell got. Oh, no. Bro, literally. 
I start smelling it through my shirt, Floyd and his girl start smelling it. At that point, bro, I just had to stop, bro. I, blue balls accepted. Bro, I was at the point where I was holding my breath as long as I could. Nope. About died in that bitch. I ended up telling her because apparently her, her sinuses, I mean, she was the only one in the house that couldn't smell the house. Yes, nigga, the house. Bro, when I tell you this man Floyd is an asshole, bro, this man sitting over here dying laughing when my ex say, if there's a smell, it's because my period's coming. Hey, yo. Now look, bro, I wasn't trying to be petty or funny when I said what I said next, bro, but this man Floyd over here laughing, right? His girl on the phone pretending like she don't see, hear, or smell what is going on. You know what I'm saying? And then me, gosh, mind you, I am a, I'm a ninth grader. I'm a freshman. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to uh, say what I needed to say. So all I said was, oh, okay. Is that how it's always supposed to smell? I wasn't trying to be funny, but this nigga Floyd just falls out. He just falls out dying, bro. Just, just dying. I wasn't trying to be funny, bro. And that caused my ex to go upstairs and, you know what I'm saying, try to wash up. You know what I'm saying? And then she asked me, did I want to finish or can we try to finish again? Me, I said everything except yes or no. I said everything except yes or no. I didn't want to hurt no feelings, bro. And I didn't want to finish, you no know, have, bro, she took a bird bath. Oh, if y'all know what a bird bath is. And if y'all smelt the smell I was smelling, you can't wash that out in the sink, bro. You can't wash that out in the sink, bro. But let's just say this. <laughs> after that, this relationship slowly dwindled after that. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just nothing but arguments. It was, it was, it was a whole lot of shit, bro. Until she eventually decided to go and put that stank ass on you know, somebody else. Yeah, bro. I got cheated on. But look, Shady Gang, it's all good. Because you know what the most important lesson learned is from this story? Sniff it before you stick it. Simple. It's your boy GVO Shades, man, and I'm out of it, bit. You feel me? Yes, sir! And I'm on my way, I can feel some days my day. I just wanna be the one to make it up. Cause everybody in my city in competition with everybody trying to get it, I get it. Human nature, but it's condescending to say that they ain't shit. It's a contradiction to the obvious fact that we ain't that different. To the obvious fact that we ain't that different.